Asa informed the Prime Minister who was in the area to assess services delivery that 40 schools in the region are facing water shortage. Some schools are sharing water from community boreholes and schools that have no source of water. It takes time to fetch it from other areas. However, the tires of the car, which the directorate uses to take water to schools, are worn out. Uh, water problem in, in Omusati is not only a problem at our schools. Um, it, 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 it's in the whole region because of um, water pressure and, 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 and some um, sources from where the communities are getting water. Um, but I must say that it is a big challenge because uh, directorate education is actually not responsible for water provision. We are responsible for teaching and learning. The directorate is also sitting with more than $20 million outstanding invoices of water, electricity, catering for hostel, and school feeding program. Currently, Otapi Public Library is completely cut off from water and electricity because the directorate could not settle its bills due to financial constraints. The directorate received warning letters from Okahao and Rakana town councils to settle their water bills or face disconnected water to its schools and hostels. Local authorities are also finding it difficult to operate optimally because of unsettled debts by public institutions. Ministry of Education, <laughs> the Ministry of <laughs> Health, yes. and the other ministries. 99% of those institutions, they are not uh, paying for our services. And uh, it's straining our financial positions. Water shortage has been worsened by the rehabilitation of Oshakati Kalweke Canal. Some councillors also informed the Prime Minister that the drought relief food is also insufficient and it does not accommodate all the affected households. But now what, 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 what the, the situation that we are finding, uh, finding ourselves in, these ones are receiving double just because apparently last month they did not get. But you have the same people who looks the same like the other one, but they are not getting. And they are always at our door. Prime Minister Saraku Gongelwa Madhira responded to some of the issues raised. When it comes to things like uh, disconnection, water supplies to government institutions. I think that's a typical form of poor coordination. It's a typical form. Yeah, because you now have children of the same household. In government, there is the, those of us that deal with the funding. There are those of us that deal with education. There are those that deal with service delivery and they have costs. The situation that is happening, there where the schools are disconnected because there are bills that are un un unsettled is poor coordination. Because I can just imagine those children in hostels where the toilets are not flushing. Mm -hmm. What kind of condition is that? Mm -hmm. So all of you are right and all of us are falling short somewhere. On drought relief food provision, she had this to say. As I said, the acting uh, CRO and the, the, the ED of the OPM, let us further follow up on this information that is provided. We hope that it has been channeled through the regional council, but the key here is that uh, this must be a combined income of not to more than 2,600. It must be an area that is dependent on, on subsistence uh, 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 agriculture, and yes, the assessment has revealed that there was no harvest in, in these areas. Tonatania Embody, NBC News, Otapi.